In the Rocky Mountain West, there's a disease called brucellosis that's normally carried by bison and elk. It's a disease that, that causes these wildlife to abort their unborn fetuses. Now the livestock industry is very concerned about brucellosis because if their cattle contract it, obviously their cows can abort their fetuses and it can be a real economic hit on that rancher's herd. Now another aspect of brucellosis is it can be contracted by humans. How? Well, if you're out hunting and you're dressing out your elk and you somehow cut yourself, you can get some of the elk's blood into your own blood system. Terry Jones was out hunting with a friend last fall, and while dressing out an elk, some way or somehow, he managed to cut himself and get some blood from the elk into his system, and that resulted in what is known as Bang's disease, or undulant fever. That's right. And when did you, when did you figure out that you had contracted this? Late in April but I had already uh, had one bout with it that apparently my immune system pushed it back into remission maybe and I originally had the symptoms in February but I didn't realize that that's what I had I thought I had a cold or something I just felt bad uh, and they finally and they did figure out that I had brucellosis or a disease. Now when you first contracted it or when you first noticed the symptoms you said that was in April? First time was February. And, and what did you think was wrong with you? What, what, what were the symptoms? I had body aches like uh, as if you had really bad flu mm -hmm. uh, mostly in my lower body. I had uh, and they moved around a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a pain between my hips that was terrible and another pain up in here somewhere that was kind of bad mm -hmm. and uh, and then they just went away for quite a period of time mm -hmm. and then the next time there was no denying it it was go to the hospital I couldn't even sleep I only slept a half hour really? at a time. Huh. Um, just because of the pain? Yeah. Um, now do you have any idea how you might have cut yourself while you were dressing out the elk? Well, a sharp bone. Uh, we used a hat. We used two hatchets to cut the elk up into four pieces to put it on the horse. And so I cut myself on a sharp bone when I when I had already hacked the elk to pieces. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you just take one ha one axe and hammer it with another axe. Yeah. And so it it uh, chops it down into pieces that you can handle. And then we we put the pieces on the horses and then hauled it out. Yeah. And and did you know at the time that you were cut? Yeah. yeah. In fact, we treated it a little bit with a band aid and some neosporin. Yeah. And the cut went away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and the doctors, what they discovered it was uh, undulant fever because of the, the culture that they took. They were able to narrow it down. Yeah. There was no connection. Uh, when I went to the hospital, there was no reason to believe that I had anything except I just had a lot of pain. Yeah. It could have come from, uh, they actually, the first time I went to the hospital was in February and they thought I had kidney stones. And they thought I had uh, maybe worked too hard as far as uh, doing too much uh, exercise because I had been in a pickup for more than I wanted to be and so when I got home I overdid it they thought that I'd over overdone it maybe sure, sure. and uh, then when I, I didn't have any kidney stones so I went home and I didn't have anything for pain or anything but it went away and then uh, April 24th so that's from February 1st, roughly, to April 24th, and that's when when uh, real pain showed up. And yeah. That was that was uh, undeniable. Yeah, yeah. And how do they treat this? Well, initially I was treated with uh, IV antibiotics. Uh, once they figured out I had a uh, some kind of an infection in there. And it was, 
initially it wasn't the right antibiotic because they didn't know I had brucellosis. They just knew I had an infection yeah. in my spine or in my vertebrae. Yeah. And so when the uh, when the the infection got better, the pain got better, I was feeling somewhat better, but when they figured out from the cultures that I had brucellosis, then they switched drugs and gave me IV drugs for roughly five, six weeks mm -hmm. on top of what I'd already had. And then now I'm into the second month of, of just oral drugs. What prognosis do they give you? It, my doc says that he's going to be able to cure it and beat it right down to nothing. Uh, after doing some research on the disease, it's possible that it might be with me for quite some time. But I'm going with what my doc says. Sure, absolutely. And this is a, a fairly rare disease for humans to contract, isn't it, these days? It's reasonably, or, yeah, it's quite rare. There's roughly 100 to 200 people per year in the United States that get it. And how do, are most of them hunters or other ways to get it? Uh, I think most of them are probably veterinaries, mm -hmm. veterinarians, and uh, some of them are hunters, and some of them are people that produce unpasteurized milk, mm -hmm. and and there are other kinds of brucellosis that uh, hogs transmit, and dogs transmit, and other kinds of critters transmit them but they're not the one that I have. I have uh, Brucella abortus, mm -hmm. and that is the type that cattle get, the type that elk get, and the type that bison get. Yeah. Now, how many years have you been hunting? All my life. All your life. And did you ever give any thought to this? Not, not, a, not even a, not a little bit of thought to it. You wouldn't even, you, I've never even never even occurred to me, uh, and it might not be where I got it, but it's probably pretty likely that I got it that way. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, where were you hunting? I was hunting in the East Fork of the Wind River, which is uh, what you would consider probably part the southern part of the Greater Yellowstone ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the brucellosis, as you already know, is concentrated around the greater Yellowstone area. Now, you can also, as you, as you alluded to, you can get brucellosis from drinking unpasteurized milk or, or even um, overly rare, undercooked wild game. Um, have you sworn off wild game? No, I still eat a lot of wild game, in fact, uh, my daughter just got married and we had elk meat for her wedding. Uh -huh.